It's currently 8 31 and i'm actually pretty early which is surprising because i woke up relatively later than i thought but right now i'm just making breakfast i don't normally eat breakfast this early because i'm usually still asleep but since i'm up i decided to go ahead and just make something very light but yeah i'm just getting ready for my first class of the day which is at 10 o'clock i've gotten a few questions on what's my major what courses am I taking and what year am I in? And I am a UX design major. Who is too invested in her peanut butter and banana sandwich to finish the questions? So we're moving over to voiceover Raina. But I am in my second year of college, so I'm a sophomore and I'm taking financial accounting, Java programming, introductory psychology, and scripting technologies. My psychology and scripting technologies classes are asynchronous, which means they can be completed at your own pace. The assignments do have due dates, but they're just used to keep you on track in the course. I like to work ahead at least a week or two in advance, just in case something happens, so that when I'm back and ready to do schoolwork, I'm on track with the rest of my classmates. Also, do you guys prefer voiceovers or silence? I prefer both because I like playing study videos in the background, but I make these videos for you guys to enjoy, so let me know in the comments which you prefer. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and with that being said, let's get productive. matcha latte with oat milk and three pumps of cane sugar syrup please thank you thank you yes please. we're walking because they have construction where we normally park so that's all I need
so right here i'm just on a discord with reyna as we both complete our master to-do list for the semester and our master to-do list is just a list of all the assignments that we need to get done it just makes it a lot easier for us to figure out what needs to be done and when it takes me about two to three hours to get all my assignments in this master to-do list which i know it's very tedious but for me i think it's worth it because when i follow the list i rarely miss a deadline and it allows me to organize my weeks a lot more effectively this list is very versatile i tend to do the bare minimum but don't be like me and use the list to its full potential and today i was really on a crunch for time because my next class was around 5 pm so i didn't have a lot of time to dedicate to making the list but i'm pretty sure over the semester i'll come in and edit it and make it a bit more specific <music> Just to explain my setup a little bit, I have on my bigger monitor my syllabus which is open for each class and I just scroll to the bottom where it's like, I think it says calendar section and I just copy and paste each assignment, each project, each midterm and final exam into my to-do list and it just makes it a lot easier to kind of see what's going on. In about 30 seconds or so, I go more into depth on what exactly is in my master to-do list. So if you are looking for that, keep watching. So I'm almost done with my master to-do list and I just wanted to hop on here real quick and kind of explain to you all what I did. Just so it makes a bit more sense because I didn't really explain anything. So you're just going to click this sort button right here and I sort it by due date because obviously I want to be on track with my assignments. So you're just going to click that and automatically it's in ascending order. So it goes by the earliest due date to the furthest due date and it just makes it a lot easier to keep track of what assignments are due and when they are due. So I'm trying to scroll to the bottom. Okay. so. As you can see, some are blue and some are black. The ones that are blue just means that I have a reminder to do it. And I tend to do reminders for like projects, exams, kind of time sensitive things. So I just add a reminder for the day of the event. You can go in a bit more specific and just do the time, but I didn't want to do that. I think just like reminding me the day of is completely fine for me. So the way I have my master to-do list is I have the status of the assignment here. And if I complete it, you just check it off, if not leave it unchecked. I have my course code here, and then I have the name of the assignment. What kind of task is it? I have participation, quiz, assignment, lab, midterm, exam, project, or if it's a reading slash lecture. Then I have the percentage and I like seeing the percentage here because it lets me know this is like a big chunk of my final grade, whereas like 7% isn't that much. Next I have the due date, which isn't accurate. I tend to schedule it, I think two to three days ahead of the actual day. So I think this one is due on the 21st, but I did it on the 28th just in case something happens, you know, like you, you really never know. And I just want to prepare for that. And this one doesn't have it, but it has the grade and the points for that grade. So how many points I made out of the 40. And then lastly, I have my notes, which is just different like reminders for the assignment. So for this one, I need to complete the lab on Blackboard and watch unit videos for it. This one, I need to review the PowerPoint for the lecture chapter nine lecture and there's two tests involved in this chapter.
I gotta go to class. I'm in the wrong building. Move the mouse out the way. Thank you. Okay. You can see it even yes. after. <laughs> yes, I can. Especially because your mouse color is red. <laughs> it is red. Get it off. Move it out the way. I'm sorry. No, because what if <laughs> Bang Kyung is just watching this? <laughs> what? What did I say? Did you see him the entire time? Yes, he was watching that whole ordeal this entire time. Since she was going.